Jury deliberations continue in the Cass County trial of Kyler Eust. Good evening, everybody. I'm Chris Katz. Eust charged with murdering 17-year-old Kara Kopetsky and 21-year-old Jessica Runyons. We have team coverage at the Cass County Justice Center. KMB tonight's Beyonce Beltran looks at charges jurors might be focusing on, but we begin with investigative reporter Matt Fleener, who has covered this trial from day one. Matt, good evening. Hey, good evening, Chris. This is now almost hour 14 of jury deliberations. This jury from St. Charles County, they've asked several questions today, including wanting to find phone records, to see phone records in this case. They've also asked for a certain map in this case as well. This all comes after some very big testimony over the past couple of weeks. We've seen so many developments these past two weeks during the trial of Kyler Eust. Last week, one of his former girlfriends took the stand to say Kyler Eust choked her. He then proceeded to get on top of me to put his hands around my neck, hand over hand, to crush my trachea. <laughs> the jury also saw video and audio from a hidden FBI tape where Eust and a former girlfriend went to the woods to contact the spirit of Kara Kapetsky using a Ouija board. Oh my god. I just like felt her hand on my shoulder and I heard like I she didn't say anything. It was just like her voice. I promise I will come back and see you, Carl. Raise your right hand. You saw me swear the testimony you're about to give in this. The most compelling testimony came from Kyler used himself, saying he did not kill either girl. Did you kill Kara? No. Did you kill Jessica? No. Of course, the families of Kara Kapetsky and Jessica Runyons have been here throughout the entire trial as well. They heard that testimony this week. They heard that testimony last week, and now they're just waiting, waiting like the rest of us, trying to figure out what that jury is thinking, Chris. Well, Matt, that jury has asked for several things today. Any idea what might these requests say about the deliberations inside? Yeah, Chris, uh, they've asked for phone records and specifically uh, phone records of, uh, of Jessup Carter, uh, the half brother of Kyler Eust and also his ex-wife as well, trying to pinpoint whether or not Jessup Carter was actually wa was actually where he said he would be at the Lake of the Ozarks on the night that Jessica Runyons went missing. Of course, Kyler Eust blamed Jessup Carter for uh, Jessica Runyon's death, also Kara Kopetsky's death. So they may be considering that in there right now. But again, it, it'll be fascinating to see what they uh, what they decide here, Chris. Matt, we know you'll stay on the story. Thank you.